there is none like you Jesus there is none like you Lord my Jesus my Savior Lord there is none like you all of my days I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength. from the bottom of your heart. Tell him one more time. My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you. All of my days, I want to praise the one of your mighty 
heads bow down and the seas will roar at the sound of your precious name oh God I sing for joy at the works of your hand forever we love you forever I will sing yeah. nothing compares to the promise I have with you hallelujah nothing compares This is somebody's night. I am a child of God. Lift him up. I'm no longer a slave to fear. Yes, my Lord, my God. I am a child. Doesn't matter what I'm going through, but I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child. Oh God, let it come from the bottom of your heart. On behalf of my children, I declare, I am a, a child of God. Yes, I have a You unravel me with a melody. You surround me with a, with a song. Song of deliverance hey, from my enemies till all my fears are gone. Let's say it one more time. You unravel me. Thank you, Jesus. With a Song of deliverance, song of deliverance from my enemies till all my fears are gone. Tell him on behalf of your household, you unravel me. Hey, 
We live to rock, we live to rock for the praise. Oh God, we live to rock, we live to rock.
I praise when surrounded. Hey, cause praise is the word. My enemy is groaning. Hey, as long as I'm breathing, I'm God.
Hallelujah, para. Agambe bura aleluya, bugarache. Agambe, agambe bura aleluya, para aleluya, para. Agambe bura aleluya, bugarache leke. Agambe, agambe bura aleluya, bulu. Yeah yeah yeah. Para aleluya, para. Agambe bura aleluya, bugarache leke. What what?
Weakness, lower. Lower, lower, lower. Compromise, lower. Lower, lower, lower. Lower, lower, lower. Cancer, lower. Lower, lower, lower. Barrenness, lower. Lower, lower. Are you ready? Higher, higher, higher. Are you ready? 
kunduka Are you ready? Sitani ya ni mkunduka Tani na watula Yeah, yeah, yeah
are you that reign? Tell him. I serve a living God. Even my wife knows it. Say not true. I serve a living God. Everybody know. Jehovah you that I'm 
right in the name of Jesus. Move to the right in the name of Jesus. I discovered that dance yesterday. Are you ready? Move to the right in the name of Jesus. Move to the right in the name of Jesus. Move to the left in the name of the Lord. Move to the left in the name of the Lord. Move to the right in the name of Jesus. Move to the right in the name of Jesus. Somebody move to the left in the name of the Lord. Move to the left in the name of the Lord. Shake that body in the name of Jesus.
to ask. I've got a question to ask. I've got a question to ask life way. I've got a question to ask the ladies in the house. I've got a question to ask you. I've got a question to ask you. I've got a question to ask you. Yeah. 
of the Lord in our midst. Honor the Spirit of the Lord in our midst. Honor the Spirit of the Lord in our midst. Whisper words coming from your heart. He waits to hear from you. Masha He's the Lord God Almighty. Talk to the Holy Spirit tonight. His 
our ever present help. Holy Spirit, I love you. You will guide me. You will guide me. No fear. You will guide me. It's a night of translation. Do you see the host of heaven? Mashika Tarabakoi. You will guide me, no fear. Say terrible koi and an ezade. Guide me, no fear. Shidada and ezade. Ta 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 
the Lord God Almighty is exalted high. Speak the heavenly language. Do you see the company of those around you? The cloud of glory. No disease shall remain tonight because of the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shataya Makoya na Makaya Didade Rezekeya Makashika Tararare Let the eagles fly with their company Let the lions roar with their company Lumakaya Makasiya Dadada Hosima Katara Makoya Nina Riza Tara Makote Lakaya Zedederi Kana Makoshiya Dadade Riva Makota Makonde Ramadidi Jatara 
Ribababako yani nana nez. Ribakata ya nez yadade. Yagade yadade didiya. You can go where you've never been before. Ribakata ya 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 ya. Razika ya zima tarabako ya. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ, the door of the ship. Yada de yada de zada de. Rama taya gadida mashoya. Kula madela gadera mo shatara bakoya. Zida da 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 mo kotela ba didiya. Riba ba 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 konda la ba didiya. Ezisa la gada da da di a de da da mo shatara. Rima nda la gada da da mo shatara bakoya la ba didiya. Gada da da mo shatara ba gada de de. Reza de de da mo shatara gada da di a de je de je de. Jede 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 Ya na 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 ni ya de Zada de Rubaka ya di da de Ha na 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 Ha ya de zididia Ha ya de zididia Ha ya de zididia Ha ya de zididia be set up blessed tonight. Shat tara bakotoro mofu. Si tara makotoro bokoya raba didi. Ha. Zari ma ya rizai. Leze tere moko toro boko ya na 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 Ra ta 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 ya da de za ya He na ne zididia Ru ba 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 ko ya na 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 Ri ma ka ta ra ma ko toro boko ya da ba dididi Sia ma 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 Ra da 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 He la ka didi ya da 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 Rubo si ka ta la ka didi ya de Re si ka ta la ka didi ya de Ra ba 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 Ra da 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 la ba jidi di ya Re se ke te la ma ka ta la ka didi ya Ri ba 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 Ra ma nda la ka de 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 Re se ke te la bo ko si di bu di 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 Ri ba 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 I send above that disease. Rasa katala makoi, se tere boko si ala madidi. Ri ba 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 konde la madida da 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 da. Rasi anane si didi a da 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 da. Ra ba 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 kota la gadi di a da 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 da. I set you a place with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shatara makoto ra makora makadaya. Lima kata la kada da 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 da. Ya kata. Rima la la kada da la mo shata. Rima ba 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 koto la makosi la mo didi ya. Rima ba 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 didi ya. Rima ba 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 didi ya. Rima ba 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 ba. Ya na ne sa ta ya ka ya. Aya di da 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 ya ka. And Samson came. And he got the foxes. And he sent them a place. Receive the fire. Can set your territory on fire. Ramanda la ka de 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 de
Until you're fully consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. That you may go and say the nations are blessed. Yes. Let the spirit of the Lord take over. You need this fire for the season that is upon you. Double doors are open before you. Double dose. 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 Double
Ramanda la de 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 Ramanda la Lika Ramanda la gade de de Ramanda la gade de 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 Reze ke te la bakasi ya la ba di di dia Rimanda la gade de 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 Raza ka cha la mako soro boko ya Hi la gade de 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 Ramanda la gade de 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 Robo si ka cha la ba ka cha ya Hi la manda la da 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 Ramanda la gade de 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 Let that deep call the deep Ula manda la gade de 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 Ramanda la gade de 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 Reze ke te la bakasi ya Rimanda la gade de 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 Raza Anes Didia Let that deep call out to the deep right Zatarama Kotsa Rabakosi Rabo Didi Riba Ba 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 You no longer be in control of your prayer life. The spirit of the Lord. Ula mande la katidia. Lande de de dia de 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 de. Oh prophet of God, what you've been lacking is the prayer fire. So bad the tolly na kwe kusamu kumuli. Ramane Yana Rataka Brabo 
I'm the one who grants through you. Let me get tell Makaya. Liba katola makoya. Ulana nezi didia. Riba ba 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 landa de. Zada la gadi da 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 de. I see nation set ablaze. I see la kaya na 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 na. Robo zada da 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 da. I see a fire. Raise ya na ne zada la bo shada. In Australia. Riba ba 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 ba. Tani ka bravo si tani ka bravo si atani ba. Ineko to bravo si kete. Go prakasi kata ya ineketi prabo shanti shanti ala makoto raza kata ya na 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 riba ba 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 la kata de 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 sete ba kosi ala ba di 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 ya rana de zala da 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 ra ba 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 ra ma na la kata de 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 sete la makoto ba kosi ala ba di 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 ya rana de I will receive the fire prayer. I see men set on fire. In your worship, you will release the fire. Yes, worshiper, release the sound. Let it go in the realms. Worship and release the sound. 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 
Jamaica again to Jamaica. Ramanda la 
Anthony, you will teach the word. Anthony, you will teach the word. Anthony, you will write books. Anthony, you will write books. Razia Nesia, Razia Nesia, Razia Nesia, Razia Nesia, Razia Nesia, Razia Nesia, Rekete brago shanti ni kabrazili riza kanta ni mawa ni mosha. So hot, move your belly, shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot, move your belly, shall flow. Let the rivers flow. Let them flow out of your belly. Let them flow out of your belly. Let them flow out of your belly. Nika chikuru kuchoko vamuru kuchoro. There is a surgeon in our midst. A surgeon in our midst. The Lord anoints your hands. It's true you were trained. But the Lord anoints your hands right now. To the corners of the earth. They will marvel For the Lord Anoint that surgeon The rivers flow out of your belly. Na 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 na, didi dia. Reze de 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 bo shiye vianda le katara bakoya. Uzama katara makondo ro didi dia. Riba ba 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 your husband left six years ago. He left six years ago. 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 He will return within three weeks. Six years ago. 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 Zat haraba ko torobo ko yaraba di 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 ya de 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 All we can do is worship Him. The resurrection and the life. We praise you. Tatarama, Goyarabadi, the Bosch. 
where they took your papers and buried them. Your two stepsisters. Your two stepsisters. The stepsister bo babiri. Jesus, the resurrection and the life. Yes, Christo, ukuzukira no bulamu. Brings them out right now. Abija yokati. Ja tara makoto rubo kuera badidi. Zete rubo kosi kata tata tata. Ja matara makoto rubo kuera badidi. We praise you, the resurrection and the life. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus Christ, our righteousness. He is worthy. Exalted. Gifts of healing. Gifts of healing. You will touch wombs and even children who are dead in their mother's wombs will receive life. He's not yet done. Focus on him. Gifts of healing. The spirit of the Lord locates you where you are. Gifts of healing. Someone, even an infirmity in your right leg is being healed right now. I don't know what happened, but you've had the pain for seven months. But the Spirit of the Lord is touching you right now. The resurrection and the life. There is a worshiper. I see the Lord anointing you. You will clear the atmosphere for healing. The sweet of the Lord locates you where you are. You will clear the atmosphere for healing. You will clear 
the atmosphere for healing. The anointing to raise the dead is coming upon you right now. Three people. God raise the dead. Jesus Christ the resurrection and the life Jesus Christ the resurrection and the life The grace to restore marriages. The grace to restore marriages. The more you have suffered in your marriage. Ah, now receive the overflow. The grace to restore marriages. A warrior arises. Rarikaya ne zida laka. Let haya gadida nana. You slay the dragon. You slay the giants. The anointing locates you. Haven't I raised you to be a warrior? I've put authority on your tongue. I've put authority on your tongue. I see you bowing in multitudes. There are many hearing this sound, even in the spirit. See them arising. To minister to the throne. Yes.
principles who had been captured under the water but they are rising right now they are voices are breaking out in the atmosphere Worshipper, you can no longer be silenced in the waters. You arise to worship before the throne. There you are. There you are. They can no longer hold you under the water. Arise and worship your maker. Whatever you were married to, it can no longer hold you. For you were chosen for the throne. Worship the Lord your maker. Worship the Lord your maker. Some are online, some are on TV. There were many worshippers who were under the water. But the Lord tells me to declare one thing. He is the Lord God your maker. Your husband. worship from the position of that covenant
cada day. Holy
with the bread of heaven for the glory of God 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 the bread of heaven the bread of heaven the bread of heaven the bread of heaven the bread of heaven
just wave to the Holy Spirit. Appreciate Him tonight. He is great and greatly to be praised. Father, we continue to honor you in our midst. We thank you for the grace. We thank you for your mighty hand. We thank you for your presence. Be glorified. Spirit of the living God, continue having your way in our midst. In Jesus' name, amen, amen and amen. Let's give God a big hand clap. Uh, turn to three people and continue to welcome them. Amen. Amen. Welcome them. Amen. Amen. We thank God. How many are looking forward to the consecration camp? Amen, amen, amen. 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 We bless the Lord for what he's doing in our midst and also to continue to inform all of us that the camp will be at the consecration center. Amen. And it's glorious because the heavens are open. Amen. Isn't that the best thing? We bless the Lord. I would like us to turn to our Bibles, Revelation chapter 5. I'll be reading from the Amplified from verse 9 to 10. And now they sing a new song saying, You are worthy to take the scroll and to break the seals that are on it. For you were slain, brackets, sacrificed, and with your blood, you purchased men unto God from every tribe, language, and people, and nation. Verse 9, we shall read together. And now they sing a new song saying, You are worthy to take the scroll and to break the seals that are on it. For you were slain, brackets sacrificed, and with your blood you purchased men unto God from every tribe and language and people and nation. And you have made them a kingdom, brackets royal race, priests to our God and they shall reign as kings over the earth. So tonight I'm going to share about what I have termed by the future. Turn to your neighbor and tell them by the future. When we go to the book of Exodus chapter 19 and verse 6 The Bible says and you shall be to me a kingdom of priests A holy nation Consecrated Set apart to the worship of God. These are the words you shall speak to the Israelites. Now we see from the beginning that God had a desire. There is something He desired in His heart. And He's telling Moses 
I want you to inform the Israelites that this is the desire of my heart. I would like them to be my priests. I would desire to have a kingdom of priests. But as we all know, the desires of the Father's heart were not fulfilled. And he ended up choosing one tribe. But now when we go to the book of Revelation, we see that the desires of God were finally fulfilled. And they were fulfilled through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we see that Jesus did not wish it. Turn to your neighbor and tell them he had to purchase. One thing you have to note is that it was the will of God. From the beginning, it was the desire of God. From the beginning, these were the purposes of God. But there was a purchase that had to take place. God knows the future from the beginning. He knows the end from the beginning. And he says, because this is what I want. I have to do something about it. And so Jesus offers himself and he buys you and me. It was a divine purchase. And so as I share tonight about buying the future, the first thing that I would like you to note that this is the way of the Lord. He has always been in the business of purchasing. He just didn't wish it and say that I, I will need to have many sons. He had to make it legal through a divine purchase. And so I want to speak to someone tonight who has believed on Jesus Christ that the kingdom we are in is a kingdom of transactions. Whatever you desire to see in your future, child of God, you will have to buy it. Jesus has made a way for you that you may be able to get that which you desire. Amen. Buy the future. You spending the night here, it's a transaction. You had to forego your sleep because there is something better that you're seeking for. So he says, come and buy without money. If we are buying without money, what then are we using to buy? How can you secure your future? How can you secure the future of your great grandchildren? Through Jesus Christ. The Lord has made a way for us that we can go back. Amen. Amen. Underline what went wrong. And go in the future. Underline to the will of God. So whatever we are in this kingdom. Someone bought something. The challenges you're experiencing. The things that you're going through is because someone loved you so much. And they said, let me now initiate all my children. 
Amen. Amen. It wasn't, by the way, it's, it's not out of hatred. Your father is saying, I have to secure the future of my children and my grandchildren. So in a certain way, he also goes and buys the future. Amen. Amen. We have been given an opportunity through the blood of Jesus Christ. We should not accept to confirm to the normal. We are meant to be different. And so everything, when you're saying, now I'm going to fast, you're sacrificing, but there is something you're buying. When you decide to sit and say, I'll do nothing about it, after God has said it, there is something you're losing. Amen? Amen. And from the beginning, it has been so. With your blood, you purchased men unto God. Amen? Amen. And so when we go to the book of Genesis, tell your neighbor buying the future. Genesis 12. The Lord, now in Haran, the Lord said to Abraham, Go for yourself. I'm reading from the Amplified. Go for yourself. Brackets. For your own advantage. Away from your country. Chapter 12. Genesis. Verse Away from your country. From your relatives. From your father's house. To the land that I will show you. The transaction that changed the life of Abraham. God is saying, Abraham, at this time he is not yet Abraham, he is Abraham. There is a land I have prepared for you. There is a future I desire for you to have. There is a kind of inheritance that I have prepared for you. But in order for you to partake of what I have prepared for you, you have to leave something that you may gain something. Many of us, there are things you don't want to leave. And by doing that, you've refused to buy your future. He says there is a land but you have to live. So how did Abraham buy his future? Number one, there is something he had to live. There is no one in this work of salvation when God has not told you to live something. Some of us we've refused. Amen. Amen. You're saying I would rather go for a hundred overnights. But I will not leave that. Now I want you to think about what you're forsaking for your future. God is not losing in any way. Amen. Amen. He says, 
When I look at you Abraham, I want to make you a great nation. I want to bless you. I want to make your name famous and distinguished. And you will be a blessing. I'll bless those who bless you. And I'll curse him who curses you. In you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. It is before you now. There is what you can gain. There is what you should be willing to lose. That you can buy the future. That you can buy the future. This work of salvation is a journey of continuous living of things. Amen. Amen. And so the Bible says, Bible verse 4, so Abraham departed as the Lord had directed him. So how are we going to buy the future? Number one, you should know how God speaks. Maybe he has been speaking for now 15 years. But you don't understand. So because you don't understand, there is a lot that you're losing. God speaks to us in different ways. Amen. Amen. Sometimes someone can get a dream. It is not the intention of God to give you a dream which you don't understand. He's just trying to communicate to you. You're too busy. That the only opportunity he gets is when you're sleeping. So if for three years you're not understanding your dreams, can you give God room that he can speak to you in another way? Because unless you hear him, you are so far from what God has destined for you. Amen. Amen. Number two. How are we going to buy the future? Tell your neighbor obedience. Amen. Amen. Obedience. Okugonda. And so Samuel tells Saul. Kati Samuel yagamba Saulo. Much as the Lord chose you to be anointed. But because of your disobedience. If you had obeyed the Lord. Your kingdom would have been established. But because you've refused to obey. It has been taken from you. And the Lord has sought for himself a man. Even today the Lord is seeking. Amen. Amen. It's just my privilege and your privilege that he chooses us. But the moment we don't respond, the kingdom of God will not lose out. It is you and your bloodline who are going to lose out. Can you imagine that at one point David is just asking 
If there is someone from the household of Saul that he may bless them. Look at the future which the Lord had put before him. And how he failed to buy that future. Because of disobedience. How have you refused to obey? Where have you delayed to obey? Who is gaining and who is losing? Who is gaining and who is losing? Amen. And so the Bible says when we go to the book of Hebrews 11. Verse 8. Urged by faith. Hebrews 11 and verse 8. Hebrews 11 verse 8. Urged on by faith, Abraham, when he was called, obeyed and went forth to a place which he was destined to receive as an inheritance. And he went, although he did not know or trouble his mind about where he was to go. Uruku kiliza Ibrahim bwe ya itiwa na ulida no kugenda na agenda mchifochi yali agenda okuwewa okubobu sika na avayo ngatama nina jagenda. Prompted by faith, Uruku kiliza, he dwelt as a temporary resident in the land which was designated in the promise of God. Na avero mugenyi monsi e ya suvi zibwa. Though he was like a stranger, wadenga yaringo mugwila. In a strange country, living in tents with Isaac and Jacob fellow heirs with him of the same promise tell your neighbor faith the reason why we don't obey we don't have faith in God you're not speaking it out. But it is there in your subconscience. You know a child. Like when you're throwing them in the air. A child has confidence that your hands will be there and you will pick them up as they come down. The reason why we don't obey God in your subconscience you're thinking that as you're up there coming down he's going to leave you and you're going to fall. That was before Abraham. But he chose to have faith in God. You cannot buy the future. Unless you have faith in God. It is a substance of things we hope for. Something you don't see. And yet it is real. And it is determining your future. Not only your future. But also the future of those who are coming after you. God at least have built. But the nation you are speaking about. That you want me to be a great nation. Lord, let me be satisfied with what I see. At least this one I'm sure. When I look at the great nation, that all people will be blessed through me. It's 
It is not yet real. And yet the mouth of God has spoken it. How is it going to shift from the unseen to come to, the, to this world we are in? Tell your neighbor faith. Tell your neighbor faith. Tell your neighbor faith. 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 On one hand, David has been anointed. Tell your neighbor in secret. In his father's house, secretly. When the prophet was going there, he said, God, what if Saul hears that I'm anointing someone? And God gives Samuel a divine strategy. Now, David is anointed. <laughs> and God has a divine setup to exalt him. And the, the whole army. No one has a solution for Goliath. Amen. Though he is not part of the army, his future is at stake. David would have said, but surely David, you really want to put yourself in the front. All these trained men have failed. Who am I? Nzani. Tell your neighbor. David did not build in his own abilities. But believed in the one who anointed him. Had faith in the one who anointed him. For each and every one of us. There is a day when God will choose to exalt you. But it is not going to be as obvious as you think. It's going to it will take faith to buy that future. This man is powerful. This man is a giant. But with God, these stones can buy my future. I can become a solution because I choose to believe God. Because I have faith in God. Amen. Amen. Without faith, we can't please God. And faith comes by and hearing that. Not reading. See Kusoma. You know it's interesting. <laughs> Every time you read, it Buli, comes by hearing. You don't wonder why didn't they say reading? You must listen to the word. Amen. Amen. Surround yourself with the word of God. That the Logos may be able to become the Rema that will secure your future for you. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor faith. And so Abraham departs. 
we are looking at how do we buy this future. Following the example of Jesus Christ. Who had to purchase you and me for the Father. And so the Bible says. Bible verse 7. Then the Lord appeared to Abraham and said. I will give this land to your pos- posterity. So Abraham built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. From there he pulled up his ten pegs and departed to the mountain on the east of Bethel and yeah. pitched his tent with Bethel on the west and I on the east and there he built an altar to the Lord and called upon the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 So, Kati. Abraham, Ibram. the Lord paints a picture. As I talk about him, Nga, I ask the Holy Spirit to bring back Alete that picture which the Lord has painted for you. Because some of us, you've already thrown it away. And what the enemy desires is for you to forget it completely. Amen. Amen. But right now I pray that the spirit of the Lord may bring it back to you. And so the Bible says when Abraham received the word concerning his future number one he obeyed. We learned that what caused him to obey because he had faith in the Lord. Many times why we don't obey him. Because we don't have faith in him. He even goes ahead to say that I know the plans I have for you. <laughs> to give you an expected end. These are good plans I have for you, Jeremiah 29, 11. I have good plans for you. Amen. Amen. But some of us you believe any other person's plans apart from what God has planned for you. And so we are trying to buy this future. And so what did Abraham do? Tell your neighbor. He built an altar to the Lord who appeared to him. He did not build an altar. The Bible doesn't say that he built an altar to the Lord to remind him the things he had told him. It he honored the Lord. He reverenced the Lord. Took him worthy that he may build an altar for him. Have you built an altar to the Lord? He appeared to you. Many people have heard the gospel. But the grace for salvation has not come to them. Just because of that, you should build him an altar. Amen. Not to build an altar. Now that I have problems. I should build I should build an altar to the Lord. Now that I need something from him. 
I should build an altar to the Lord. Know ye that God is worthy. Build him an altar. Not based on your needs. But because he's God. Because he's God. That alone should drive you to build him an altar. So Abraham says. Let me build him an altar. And then he departs and builds another altar to call upon the name of the Lord. To call upon the name of the Lord. You are not able to buy the future you will not be able to buy the future without an altar. How many you have a personal altar? Don't be shy. Now, because now me I'm seeing all around that how many have a personal altar? We are badly off. Amen. Amen. You want to secure your future in the Lord? You don't have a personal altar? On this altar, with a father who is an intercessor. We are in problems. One thing I've come to realize. The few years I've worked with the Lord. You need to know the truth. That will change your life in salvation. So if you do not have a personal altar. I implore you by the masses of God. To go on the YouTube channel. YouTube channel of Apostle James Fred Kawalia. And get the teachings on how do you build a prayer altar. They are there, so many of them. Not for purposes of listening only. But putting it into practice. Amen. Amen. This is the truth. Let us stop these things of let me go and they lay hands on me. You need an altar from Abraham. He built an altar. You will possess by your altar. You will become by your altar. You will subdue because of your altar. You will transact because of your altar. Amen. Amen. You want to buy the future? The cross is an altar. And every day, it is buying for the Father. Every day it is buying for him. But putting it into practice. Amen. Amen. This is the truth. Let us stop these things of let me go and they lay hands on me. You need an altar from Abraham. He built an altar. You will transact because of your altar. Amen. You want to buy the future? 
The cross is an altar. And every day, it is buying for the Father. Every day it is buying for him. In one region when people are sleeping, in another region people are getting saved. So every day there is something he's speaking. Amen. To those who are intimate with him. He even makes statements. Very alarming statements in the Bible. Will I do this thing and not tell my friend? But for us, when the song comes, I'm a friend of God. The reality is that you're not friends. The evidence that you're not friends. You don't give him time. Amen. Amen. Everyone else is a priority. Everything else is a priority. But unless you want something from God, you're not ready to come near. And every day he's waiting. Every day he's waiting. How will you buy the future? When you're not intimate with him. You know, you can do an analysis. Just this month of April. Let us leave the first three months. Just this month of April. Today is 4th or 5th. Six. Uh -huh. Now I want you tomorrow. Analyze from April 1st. To April 6th. Review your relationship with him. God, are we intimate? Katonda, dala tuli mumukwano gwebuziba. Oh, are we at 180 degrees? It's real. Because most of us think that God has no feelings to six. Review your relationship with him. God, are we intimate? Katonda, dala tuli mumukwano gwebuziba. Oh, are we at 180 degrees? Function like him. In other words, you are a mini part of him. How much more does he desire that intimacy? Every day. Every day. You must walk with him. And he will tell you. This is the future I have for you. But if you make this decision. You are moving away. What would have happened to Lot? If he had decided to learn from Abraham how to walk with God. What would have happened to him? What do you think? Amen? Amen. Because Abraham says we should, this is where we should depart. And the way Lord made the decision Tell your neighbor with his eyes. And the moment he departed from Abraham, 
Kasta ya vira Ibrahimu. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the Bible says. Bible ye gamba. Let us go to Genesis 13. Olubele belie 13. Amen. Amen. Verse 4. Olunyirira rokona. And Abraham went back to where he had built an altar at the moment he departed from Abraham. Kasta yavira Ibrahimu. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the Bible says. Bible ye gamba. Let us go to Genesis 13. Olubele belie 13. Amen. Amen. Verse 4. And Abraham went back to where he had built an altar at first. And there Abraham called on the name of the Lord. But Lot who went with him also had flocks, herds, and tents. Amen. Verse 8. So Abraham said to Lot, let there be no strife, I beg of you, between you and me, between your herdsmen and my herdsmen, we are relatives. Is not the whole land before you? Separate yourself, I beg of you, from me. Amen. Amen. If you take the left hand, then I'll take the right. If you choose the right hand, then I'll go to the left. Amen. Amen. Verse 10. And Lord looked and saw that everywhere the Jordan Valley was, was well watered. Then Lord chose for himself all the Jordan Valley and he traveled east and they separated. But the men of Sodom, verse 13, were wicked and exceedingly great sinners against the Lord. Now we going to Sodom Tell your neighbor decision making. I will not mention countries. But how some of us have desired them. Amen. Amen. But God is saying the men of that country are exceedingly wicked and great sinners against me. And you're saying you want to buy the future that God has for you. How do you make your decisions? Amen. Amen. Because Lord used his physical eyes. Many times we, we want to use our physical eyes. You know when I look at her. She's so beautiful. I just have to marry her. Amen. Amen. The day you, if you're not yet married, the day you're able to sit down. <laughs> and think about the future the Lord has painted for you. You will go in the present and make the right decisions. You're not marrying for yourself. You are buying the future. It matters how you buy. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Already you have four generations to deal with. Amen. Amen. You are bringing also another of the same kind. 
Kati atole tayo mulalo we chikula chechimu. And both of you, you're so much in love. There is no room for God to speak. Kati muli yao mkwano gubata temuganyiza katonda kuhugira. Tell your neighbor, how do you make your decisions? Gamba muli danwa wukolo otia wukusala wuko. It matters. Chikulu nyo. Where do you take your children to school? It Abana matters. Abana bo batu wa. Don't run to the papers. We totunu li dampapula. You know this school. Umanye someru li no. The pass rate is high. By it's by it dead dala wa guru. Ten years later. Why ten years ka kumi? You understand the effect of the decisions you made about your children. Oro no tegera ebiya vamu mukusala ukuwakoli davana vo. When we give them names, we are buying the future. When you read the Bible, God is particular about the names. It is not just a name. You are buying the future through that name. Amen. Amen. You know, most times, people will say that those are things which have been brought by born again people. Also, you just use your wisdom. Imagine you're carrying a name which means problems, which means sorrow. And every day you are confessing it and other people are confessing it on you. Amen. Amen. It matters when we name our children we are buying the future. From today, you will no longer be called Jacob. But Israel. This is how I'll secure the future I have for you. The future is for Israel. If we want to buy the future, the name matters. Amen. Amen. When they gave the name of John the Baptist, everyone was shocked. That name had not existed before. But the Lord ensured that through that name, he would secure the future of John the Baptist. Amen. Amen. It matters how you make your decisions. It matters which church you go to. Not because they are cult. cult. But your future is not in ten churches. In three months, you've run to five prophets. Also look at your life, really. Amen. Amen. Even a little child will not be fed from home, fed from the neighbors, fed from the aunties, fed from everywhere. The child is running everywhere. No. 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 There must be order in the body of Christ. If you want to buy your future, there is a spiritual lineage. Amen. 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 According to the future that God has set for you, there is a spiritual lineage. You must discover it. You must be where God expects you to be. 
Even when the enemy whispers to you to cause you to leave. Speak to yourself and say, I'm buying my future. This is where I'm supposed to be. Amen. You have a spiritual lineage. Where do you live? Amen. You know, because I live in Ginger, I should attend a church in Ginger. <laughs> How are you buying your future? The time is short. The time is short. Amen? Amen. The time is short. So tell your neighbor decision making. You moved from Lord. No sense of discernment at all. Amen. Amen. Where you work matters. Tell your neighbor not according to how much you, you are paid. Whether little or too much. But according to the future God has in mind for you. It matters. Amen. Amen. Because salvation is a full package. Package jude. A decision you make in one area of your life will affect another area of your life. If you hadn't gone to the wrong workplace, right now we wouldn't be dealing with witchcraft. Amen. Tell your neighbor, buy the future. Amen. Yeah. There are battles we are fighting which we are not supposed to be fighting. There are things which have imagined you take your children in a place. When the angels come <laughs> and these men want to use them and you go to the extent of at least use these ones. But it's a decision you made on where you decided to go. What, what happened, happened to the wife? He became, she became a pillar of salt. Was that the desired future? What happened to his children? They took them from the place. But they had already been affected by what was happening in that place. In the end, what was Lot's future? Imagine what he, his daughters did. Because you see, when we read the Bible, you want to leave it there. I want you to bring it to the now and think about what those girls did. You will understand. It matters the decisions we make and how they are affecting our future. Sometimes you may blame the children. But what if you had not taken them there? What could have been the end result? Tell your neighbor decision making. Sometimes God will bring you destined partners. But you may end up losing them. Amen. Amen. Amen.
and that will affect your future. The Bible says in verse 14, the Lord said to Abraham after Lot had left him, the Lord did not follow Lot to, to, to speak to him. Amen. Amen. After Lot departed, the Lord continued speaking to Abraham. Amen. Amen. And so number one, we must hear the voice. If we are going to buy the future, we must hear the voice. We must respond to the voice through faith. And faith will cause us to go in obedience. Amen. Amen. The decisions we make Amen. Amen. The decisions we make. Amen. Amen. Another thing is sacrifice. The element of sacrifice. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Yes. Purchased men for God. Amen. Amen. He purchased. Yagula. Amen. Amen. Now he's not going to deem from us that we should also die. Amen. Amen. But are we willing to sacrifice? Amen. Amen. Are we willing to sacrifice? We've become so comfortable. Amen. Amen. We've become so comfortable. Because of what Jesus has sacrificed, we have lied to ourselves. Amen? Amen. That we are not supposed to do anything. This is a kingdom of sacrifice. And everything that God has called you to. Ask yourself, what am I willing to sacrifice for? You? Because that element is there. Amen. Amen. Even the deliverance we are seeking. Jesus made a way for us. Yes, Christo, ya tuteda we kubo. Amen. Amen. That we may be able to appropriate what he has done for us on the cross. Tu sovolo kutu kilize chuchi ya tuteda wa kumusalaba. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor sacrifice. Gamba mulila na usadaka. And so we started by learning about Jesus sacrificing himself. Tu wanta nse nga tuiga ku Yesu Christo kwe sadaka. Look at the level of sacrifice. Amen. Amen. One day, one day the Lord asked me. Now that I've made you a pastor. Daily, what will you sacrifice? Because of where I've called you to. You must sacrifice. People are sacrificing for everything. You know, because I have a restaurant, I wake up at 4 a.m. I have to go to the market. But for me to wake up at 4 a.m. to pray, no, no. That is too uncomfortable. Tell your neighbor sacrifice. Amen. Amen. And so when we go uh, to 2 Samuel chapter 24. Amen. Amen. And so verse 18 says, Then God came to David and said, 
Go up prayer and altar to the Lord on the threshing floor of Arauna, the Jebusite. Our, so David our, went up according to God's to God's word as the Lord commanded. Arauna looked and saw the king and his servants coming toward him, and he went out and bowed himself before the king with his face to the ground. Arauna said, Why has my lord the king come to his servant? And David said, To buy the threshing floor from you, to build there an altar to the Lord, that the plague may be stayed from the people. And Arauna said to David, Let my lord the king take and offer up what seems good to him. Behold, here are oxen for burnt sacrifice and threshing instruments and the yokes of the oxen for wood. All this, O king, Arauna gives to the king. And Arauna said to the king, The Lord your God accept you. But King David said to Arauna, No, but I will buy it of you for a, for a price. I will not offer burnt offerings to the Lord my God of that which costs me nothing. You want to buy the future. What is it costing you? Amen. Amen. It, it has to cost you something. If we are to review the life of all the apostles, Amen. Amen. Whom our Lord Jesus chose. Amen. Amen. It had to cost them something. Amen. Amen. You want to buy the future? It has to cost you something. Everything. Just review on your life and see. What is it costing me? Amen. Amen. What is it costing me? Or am I staying in the in my comfort zone? Amen. Amen. What is it costing me? Amen. Amen. Or oh, am I staying in my comfort zone? Amen. 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 I know that we, we want to say that Jesus did everything. Amen. Amen. But you must live a life of sacrifice. Amen. Amen. When I was pregnant, from the first day, my lips were peeling. Not normal peeling. One time someone looked at me and told me, oh, do something about your lips. When we are around you, we can't even eat. Tell your neighbor they were not good to behold. They were not good to behold. All other things happened, but the lips, that one for me was extreme. Because always they were before me. You take off this one, another one comes quickly. <laughs> and it could not respond to anything until the day gave birth. It will cost you something. It will. Amen. Amen. So we need to move from this place of saying, this is what I want to become. But I want to become that way the easiest way. Everyone you see, it has cost them something. 
It is true. Chitofu. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You may say, oh, John the Baptist was in the wilderness. Oh, oh, Multitudes yeah. were coming. No. He had a certain fashion. He had a specified diet. He had a specified location. That once he decides to keep in the wilderness, once he sticks to that peculiar diet, everything would work out the way God has painted it. So ask the Lord, God is good. He will take you slowly, slowly. <laughs> He's a loving God. Amen. Amen. You say, Abraham, come out from your people. In the future there, I will demand Isaac. But right now, just come from your people. That is enough for now. So maybe you're saying that Already I've gone through sacrifice. The next one is coming. The Bible says. Bible He tested him. Ye yamukema. Amen. Amen. He tested him. Yamukema <laughs> ye. Tell your neighbor he will test me. Gamba mulidano wa jakukema. Amen. The Amplified says, Genesis 22, after these things, God tested and proved Abraham. Through sacrifice. Even he loved us so much that he gave his son as a sacrifice. Amen. How much more? Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor there is an element of sacrifice if you're going to buy the future. Amen. Amen. And it is not the same for all of us. Amen. Amen. And so the Bible says. Bible Luke 7. Luca Isuleo Musambu. Amen. <laughs> verse 37. Ulinye Rasa Tumu Musambu. Luke 7, verse 37. Luca Musambu, Rasa Tumu Musambu. Amen. Yeah. Sacrifice. Okusadaka. And behold, a woman in the city who was the sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at the table in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask of fragrant oil and stood at his feet behind him, weeping. She began to wash his feet and wiped him with the hair of her head. And she kissed his feet and anointed him, anointed them with the fragrant oil. Amen? Amen. It will cost you something. Amen. Amen. What is your perfume? Amen. Amen. When the Bible is speaking about the Shunammite woman, Amen. Amen. When we go to the book of 2 Kings and chapter 4. When the Bible is speaking about the Shunammite woman, Amen. Amen. The Bible says, Bible Gamba. Verse 8. Now it happened one day that Elisha went to Shunem, where there was a notable woman, and she persuaded him to eat some food.
Now when you read the whole of that story, how did this woman download that which was going to cause an eternal change in her life? Because the Bible does not say that she made this room for him that she may receive a child. But I believe in her spirit she was moved. Amen. Amen. Someone else would have said I will not do it. Someone else would have said this is not comfortable. Amen. Amen. But Naye. she made room for the man of God. Until Elisha said, What then is to be done for her? Amen. Amen. I believe that by the time she made room for the man of God she was a woman of God but somehow her prayers had not been and by a divine download from heaven she knew how to tap into the grace the grace that was upon Elisha. Amen. Amen. And she received a son. Even though the husband was old. Even though the husband was not really someone involved with the kingdom. Amen. Because we see he did not even try to pray when the child became sick and finally died. He just gave the child to the mother. Sacrifice. We are sharing about buying the future. Another thing is integrity. Integrity. Amen. Amen. Joseph was able because the Lord had already painted for Joseph the picture. Your brothers will bow down before you. Amen. Amen. Even your parents will bow down before you. But integrity. If we are going to buy the future, our integrity will be tested. Imagine your brothers have sold you. You are in a foreign land. You are but only a houseboy. Your current state and the future that God has painted for you they have nothing in common even when you look at yourself and the things which God is telling you it's like it is night and day. There is no meeting point. That is what Joseph was going through. I'm far from my dad who loved me. The brothers whom I believed in have betrayed me. I'm in a foreign land. Who cares? Let me just sleep with Potiphar's wife. But Joseph kept his integrity. Was it because of integrity itself? No. The integrity of Joseph was rooted in his fear of the Lord. And so the scripture gives us the reason as to why Joseph, Joseph says, I will not do this thing and sin against my God. Amen. 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 
So our integrity should be rooted in the fear of God. It doesn't matter. Because I know you will say, you know we always find reasons. Someone will say, you know when I married, I wasn't delivered by that time by that time I didn't even ask God let me divorce this person <laughs> integrity rooted in the fear of the Lord there are many things and all things which you will not do. Don't say you know. I'm not yet delivered. Make decisions because of the fear of the Lord. Have integrity because of the fear of the Lord. And these decisions you're making, you are buying the future. Because when Joseph made that decision, he was elevated to this prison. Everything that seems like it is not related to his future at all. But he's making decisions that are aligning him to what God has destined for him. Amen. Amen. You need wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. You cannot buy the future without wisdom. Godly wisdom. You know when you think about it. Solomon. Suleiman has been elevated. To become king. And he prays a certain kind of prayer. After. He has sacrificed. And the Lord answers him. And gives him. Understanding discernment. And immediately. He is faced with a challenge. I'm sure. That if it were me, there is no one would have thought about cut this child. Because you would say, What will the people think? They will even think I'm just a young king, I don't know what I'm doing. If we are going to buy the future, do we know him wisdom? Are we asking for wisdom? We need divine wisdom. That even when it does not make sense, by divine wisdom, you make a decision and say, let me go with my mother-in-law. Let me go with her to a country I've never been to. And you say, Gambe, your God be my God. Katonda wo, your katonda people wo. be my people. Ruth was operating by divine wisdom. Lucy, Amen. Mina. She was operating by divine wisdom. And look what happened to her future. Look how she was able to buy her future. You need divine wisdom. Amen. 
This is what the word the Bible says about wisdom. Bible chino cheyogera ko magezi. Proverbs 4. Engero esule yokona. And verse 5. Olunyiriro lokuta. Get wisdom. Funa amagezi. Get understanding. Nokutegera. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake and she will preserve you. Love her and she will keep you. Wisdom is the principal thing. There are forget wisdom. And in all you're getting, get understanding. Exalt her and she will promote you. She will bring you honor when you embrace her. She will place on your head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory she will deliver to you. Amen. That is wisdom. There is no way you can buy your future without wisdom. I'm telling you. Elisha is moving with Elijah. By revelation and by wisdom. He moves with this man of God. The man is saying, you stay here. Elisha is holding on by fire by force. But look at Gehaz. How he ended up. Lack of wisdom. And many times the opportunities we've lost. Wisdom. Wisdom. You can't even hear wisdom whispering to you. Concerning that, keep quiet. And that's how you lost favor. Wisdom. Every day. Walk with me. Guide me. Spirit of wisdom. Spirit of understanding. Spirit of the fear of the Lord. We need it. Otherwise, you can't buy the future. We need wisdom. Oh, how we need wisdom. You want a crown of glory upon your head. It is in the future God has, has planned for you. But wisdom. Now, the Bible says that the wisdom in the life of Esther. She would have said, oh, now that the king has asked, yeah, let me present my petition. But wisdom demanded. Prepare a meal. Invite him. Bring him to your altar. Feed him. Wisdom. Magizi. You will not buy the future. Even the way we pray, we lack wisdom. We don't know how. Amen. Amen. If you just take a time and read the prayers of the Bible, they don't seem so complicated. <laughs> and yet they were working. Wisdom. Magizi. How you relate with people. Wisdom. Amen. Amen. By wisdom you will subdue. Mochino. By wisdom you will Jaku inherit. By wisdom you will possess. By wisdom you will be established. By wisdom you will buy the future that God has for you. Wisdom. Amen. Amen. Let us go to the book of Daniel and wind up tonight. Tell your neighbor buying the future. Amen. Mm. The Bible says, Bible, 
in the first year chapter 9 of the book of Daniel, Daniel in the Mwenda. first year of Darius the son of Ahasuerus of the lineage of the Medes who was made king over the realm of the Chaldeans in the first year of his reign I Daniel understood by the books the number of years specified by the word of the Lord through Jeremiah the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolations of Jerusalem. Amen. That is the future of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Daniel chapter 9 and verse 1. Daniel Mwenda. The Bible says Daniel understood by the books. Bible Daniel yategera olwe bitabo. The years specified by the word of the Lord through Jeremiah the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolations of Jerusalem. And so the, 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 the intention of the Lord in regard to Jerusalem according to the word which came through prophet Jeremiah is that they were supposed to spend 70 years. And so Daniel is saying he understood by the books. But the important thing is what did Daniel understand. Daniel got a revelation of the future plans of God in regard to Jerusalem. Just as you can also receive a word. Maybe you're reading the Bible. And there is a particular word that comes alive to you. Maybe you're in a service. And you receive a word of knowledge. Maybe the Lord has come to you in a dream. And the Lord has specified for you what he has in your future. Maybe you receive a vision and you understand this is the future that God has for you. My question is what is your response? You know for many years I used to think that once I receive a prophetic word it is done. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me sit and wait for it to happen. Now that God has released it, now that I've got this dream, then it's a done deal. <laughs> but the Bible says, when Daniel received the word, how did he respond? That he may secure this promise. Verse 3 says, Then I set my face toward the Lord God <laughs> to make request by prayer and supplication with fasting sackcloth and ashes. On one hand, we have Daniel. He has responded by prayer and supplication with fasting, with sackcloth, and ashes that he may buy the future. How do you respond? Amen. Amen. That which you want to be turned to your favor. How do you respond? How do you respond? How do you respond? Because we have an accuser. We have started with faith, obedience, sacrifice, decision making, integrity, fear of the Lord. All these things. Amen. Amen. Maybe we didn't add forgiveness before we continue. It seems simple but so hard. 
even Jesus in the most painful moment he he said, said, them, for they know not what they do amen, amen. Even God wants to forgive us. The Father wants to forgive us. As we forgive those who trespass against us. That is the complete sentence. Ha. The way we don't want to forgive. And you are saying God all your plans towards me are yes and amen in regard to forgiving this Farida it has been two years but it's still hard give me more time Lord Come in humility. There is a lot at stake. For you to be bound in unforgiveness. There is no future with the Lord. The one who forgave those who crucified him. Has provided sufficient grace. That you can also forgive. Amen. Amen. Two things I know about forgiveness. Forgiveness. Is easier. Is easier. When your relationship with God is alive. That kind of forgiveness is not rooted in your decision making. But because of who you are becoming in the Lord. Forgiveness is like a response from your spirit. Because you can't bear to be apart from the Holy Spirit. You get to a place where all the hindrances. You surrender them in the place of prayer. That you may be with him. Amen. Amen. But there is also forgiveness. Based on our decision making. When your relationship with the Holy Spirit. Is lukewarm. So you negotiate about forgiveness in your mind. You think about how this person has behaved towards you. So if you're in that in that position, you respond to the Lord in humility. Because God already knows that you failed to forgive. But if you come broken before him and you tell him God. I, I want to forgive but I can't. He's not shocked. He's already aware. He's waiting for you to come to the end of yourself and admit you failed. And as you come before him, you will find that he will give you the divine enablement. That the effect of what that person did to you is minimized before you. 
in the presence of the Lord and that weight will be lifted so I wanted to share about forgiveness as we continue with Daniel so on one hand by the books Daniel is discovering the future that the Lord has that which the Lord released through prophet Jeremiah and the Bible says that Daniel uh, responds through prayer and supplication with fasting sackcloth and ashes Verse 4 said, and I prayed to the Lord my God and made confession and say, O Lord, great and awesome God who keeps his covenant and mercy with those who love him. And with those who keep his commandments. We have sinned and committed iniquity. We have done wickedly and rebelled even by departing from your precepts and your judgments. Neither have we heeded to your servants, the prophets who spoke in your name to our kings and princesses. To our fathers and all the people of the land. O oh Lord, righteousness belongs to you. But to us, shame of face as it is this day. To the men of Judah, to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and Israel, those near and those far off in all the countries to which you have driven them because of the unfaithfulness which they have committed against you. Now, when you read that prayer of Daniel, you can see that Daniel is trying to align the future. Daniel is trying to buy the future. Amen. Amen. But he's going back to the past. That he may be able to buy the future. He's admitting that it is not beginning now. Amen. It is only through prayer that the Lord has made a way for us that we can go back and deal with the past that we may address issues in the present and that we may align the future with the purposes of God. Only through prayer. Amen. Without prayer, it's hard for you to have faith in God. Without prayer, it's hard to live a sacrificial life. Without prayer, it is impossible to stay rooted in the fear of the Lord. Without prayer, Amen. Prayer will give life to your spirit. Prayer will give life to your spirit. Faith is not according to your body. It is your spirit. Obedience by your spirit. Amen. Amen. Everything by the spirit. That is why we need prayer. For the sustenance of our spirit man. Just as we are giving all these good things to the body. 
nga bwetuwe bintu ebirungi bino byonno mubiri amen amen the women amen abachala amen the way you, we buy that wig that the god may look good nga bwetugula wig eyo mbiri gusobola okolwa biko bulunji amen amen and so there are things which our spirit waliwe bintu nga bya moyo and we've talked about reading the word tugedde kusoma ekigambo amen amen and prayer no kusaba you receive the revelation by your spirit tufuna okubikulirwa lwa moyo you live a victorious salvation life by your spirit obulamu bo bwanguzo obera mu lwa moyo wo amen amen you will buy the future by your spirit ebisera byo maso jja kubigula lwa moyo because the body hates discomfort kubanga omubiri tegwagala kutawanyizibwa but the spirit can overrule the body na yo omubiri omoyo gusobola kuyisa omubiri but the spirit will not be able to do that unless we are intentional in doing certain things na yo omoyo tegujja kusobola kokola ebyo kujja konga tufuse abagendirira okola ebintu ebimu and so you must be intentional in your prayer katoro take it doku bango gendirira mukusaba ko amen amen many many years ago miaka mingi ke mabega amen amen when we were doing a certain course we were doing a course em je tusoma and they were teaching us about repentance ngabatu yigirizo okwenenya amen amen yeah. they taught us to read daniel 9 batu gizo kusoma ku daniel mwenda ezra 9 ezra mwenda and Nehemiah 9 ne ne keme ya mwenda so you will also do the same na wojja kola chichim the intention ekigendererwa is that you may learn gwe osobolo kuyiga how they addressed issues of the past butia gwe bakola konsongeze ebyayita how they dealt with issues pertaining to their ancestors gwe bakola konsongeze alize kusa ku bantu babwe and through that they were able to buy the future ero kuita mwebyo baso bulo kugula ebisera byabwe byo mas stand on your feet we are going to pray yimirira kubigere byo tusabe raza taraba ko torobo ko sikatara makatere boko ya raba zikatata ta rezeke tere boko siara boko shikatata ta rozi katara makandere bodidi mashatara bakaya i know that the spirit of god I know that the spirit of God will bring to your understanding that which has blocked your future that which has blocked your future you may find that it has been disobedience amen amen as we pray ngatusaba I believe that the spirit of the Lord nzikirizanti omoyo wa Lord so many things to you ajja kubako bya kubikulira and through that download erokuita mukubikuliroko the Lord will cause you to understand mukama ajja kuletera okutegera amen yeah. and help you to be aligned era kuletera okulunga mizibwa to that which the Lord has in store for you the lord has called us to consecration and that is the best way through the sacrifice of jesus christ to buy the future stand on your feet and pray rezikata tatara bakosiere bodididi masa tatara bakotsoro bokosikata tatata rezeketere mokosiere badididi ya matara makondere bodididi jetere ketere mokondere bodididi ya matara bakondere bodididi ya riba baba 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 kandede de de mo shatara bagadidi ya de razaka tatara bakosiketere mokondere bodididi riba baba 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 ramanda la gada dada de rezeketere bokosikata bagadidi ya masha tatara makondere bodididi ya riba baba baba razaka tatara bakosiere bodididi jetere mokosiande bodididi riba baba 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 Ramaza katara bako siere bodidi jetere boko siere bodidi ya mandere bosi katara bodidi ya raba baba 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 rose ketele boko siere bodidi ya great and mighty god we are here before you even today masha 
Shatara Makoto Robo Siala Badidia Riba Baba 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 Ramanda Lagadidia D. We thank you for the cross. We thank you for the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Raza Katara Makoto Robo Koya Maja Katara Baka Siala Badidia Rimanda Lagadidi Rezeke Terebo Kosiala Badidi Masha Tara Mako Siala Badidia Mantara Bagadidi Rezeke Terebo Kosi Katara Baba Baba Raga Dada 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 Masha Tara Mako Siala Badidi Robo Shandara Badidia Mezeke Terebo Kosi Siala Badidia Masha Tara Gadidi Rezeke Tara Mako Siala Badidia Riba Baba 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 Ramanda Lagadidia D Rezeke Tela Baka Siala Badidia Ramanda Lagadidi D Mosho Terebo Kosi Siala Badidia Riba Baba 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 Ramanda Lagadidia D Mosha Tara Mako Siala Badidia Riba Baba Baba Mako Terebo Kosi Siala Badidia Raza Katara Baka Siala Badidia Rezeke Terebo Kosi Siala Badidia Masha tara baba baba remeze ke tele boko siara badidia riba baba 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 ancient of days just judge of the universe even today king of glory we are before you matara makonde badidia riba baba 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 ramanda lagadidia de reze ke tele boko siara badidia i thank you even today that i'm able to appear before your courts by the precious blood of jesus christ rimanda lagadide ro shatara baba siara badidia masha tara baba siara badidia raba baba 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 ramanda lagadide I thank you for your masses that are new every morning. Rezeke tela makande le bodi diya. Riba baba baba baba. Ramanda laga de de de. Rezeke tela boko si kata le bodi diya. Rimanda laga de de bo shatara makonde le bodi diya. Rezeke tela makate le bodi diya. Mashatara makande. Riba baba baba baba. Ramanda laga de de de. Zeche le boko si kata le makande le bodi diya. Riba baba baba baba. Ramanda laga de de. Rezeke tela boko si kata le bodi diya. Mara zeke tela makata le bodi diya. Mara zika tara gada da de. Rosika tara makonde bodi diya, Rizaka tara boko si bodi diya, Raba baba baba baba, Ramanda laga laga de, Rezeke tele boko si katara bodi diya, Masha tara makande, Raba zeke tele boko ya, Ramanda de 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 de, Rezeke tele boko si katara bodi diya, Riba baba baba baba, Ramanda laga de diya de 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 de, Rezika tara de 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 de, Riba baba baba de 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 de, Masha tara boko si katara bodi diya, Rezika tara boko si raba baba, Ramanda laga de diya, Riba baba baba baba, Ramanda Go ahead and plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Rezeke tela baba baba. Go ahead and plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Rezeke tela baba baba. Ramanda laga de 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 of Jesus Christ upon this altar. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon my life. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon my children. Rezeke tela makatara makadidia. Riba baba baba baba. Ramanda la kade de de de. Plead the blood of Jesus upon your pastors, upon the apostles. Rezeke tela makatara makadidia. Upon your spouse, your husband and your wife. Upon your children. Upon your business. Upon everything concerning you. Plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Zatara katana dali. Robozi katala makadidia. Ya deje de de de, riba ba 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 ba, ramanda la gadi ya de, rezeke tela ba 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 ba, ramanda la gadi ya, riba ba 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 ba, rezeke tela gadi ya, rezeke tela gadi ya da. Ask for the protection, ask for the hedge of the blood of Jesus Christ upon everything concerning you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Rezeke tela makata la ba gadi di di, riba ba 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 ba, ramanda la gadi de de de, rezeke tela makasi ya la ba di di di, riba ba 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 ba, rezeke tela gadi ya de 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 de, rezeke tela gadi de 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 de, riba ba 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 de de de, masa katara ba de 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 de, riba ba 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 ba, raga da 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 ya de 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 ya da da da, robozi katara ya da da da, riba ba 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 ba, raza katara ya de de de, the blood of Jesus Christ, be the bloodliner to put a demarcation between you and the enemy, raza katara ya de de de, the enemy of your future, the enemy of your future, be the blood of Jesus Christ, raza katara ya de 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 de, raba ba 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 ba, ramanda la de 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 de, 
my father my god pertaining to the future my future the future of my children the future of my bloodline I confess and renounce every form of rebellion. I confess and renounce every form of disobedience, every form of witchcraft that which has hindered me from securing my future. Whatever caused the stumbling block, if it was unforgiveness that is hindering you from securing your future, confess it and renounce it this morning in the 
my father and my God reveal to me that which has been a hindrance to that which you are planning in my future my father and my God, I renounce, I renounce every form of idol worship. I renounce, I renounce family idols, family spirits, and God of blood covenant. Every author of service to secret societies, I renounce it today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I acknowledge my sin of God. I acknowledge the iniquity, even of my bloodlines of God. Before you today, my shatara ma kotoro bokwe. Bring the issue of unforgiveness before the Lord. It is songa yobuta sonyi wa masoga mokama. Rebo zeki se liko siya teke brana. Rika tango brasha te liko. I hear him say unforgiveness. Moli ranga gambo buta sonyi wa. Lay your unforgiveness down. Ramandela 
for rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. Confess it and renounce it tonight. Even the rebellion in the bloodline. That which is hindering you from buying the future that God has in mind for you. Confess and renounce every form of rebellion. As the blood of Jesus to wash, as the blood of Jesus to cleanse, as the blood of Jesus to wash, as the blood of Jesus to cleanse you. That's the blood of Jesus to cleanse you from every form of immolarity, from every form of unforgiveness, from every form of rebellion. Plead the blood of Jesus for cleansing tonight. Plead the blood of Jesus for cleansing tonight. Whatever has defiled your destiny, whatever has defiled your destiny, whatever has defiled your destiny, plead the blood of Jesus for cleansing. Whatever has defiled your destiny, plead the blood of Jesus for cleansing. Whatever has defiled your destiny, plead the blood of Jesus for cleansing this morning. Even your conscience needs cleansing. Even your conscience needs cleansing. Confess, confess. Yatula. Confess, confess. Yatula, yatula. Rasa katara katere. My Father and my God, I come before you this morning. I confess. I confess. Yatula. The sin of unforgiveness. I renounce it. I condemn it. Chisali no musa. Rasa kada da 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 da. Mashatara bokosi da 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 da. Riba ba 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 ba. Ramanda kada da 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 da. Confess polygamy. Renounce polygamy. Condemn it this morning. Sexual immolarity. Bloodshed, witchcraft, Resigada da 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 de, Raba ba 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 ba, Ramanga da da de de shibia, Resika chala ba shibia, Raba ba 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 Tonight, secure your destiny. Secure your future in the blood of Jesus Christ. Let the voice of the blood of Jesus Christ silence every other voice. 
Every accusation in the foundation that has been hidden in your destiny. Today we ask the blood, the voice of the blood of Jesus, to silence that accusation in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pray. Secure the future of your great grandchildren. Remove every blockage. Remove every hindrance. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Rosa Tara Dadi Dadi Ask the Lord for forgiveness and ask Him for cleansing. together almighty God by an act of my will I take back I take back the ground which my family and my forefathers and the fathers of the nations which they have turned over to the kingdom of darkness and hindered the destiny that you had for us. God, I know you're faithful and just to forgive me of my sins and cleanse me of every form of unrighteousness. I come before you today. I confess. Now confess that which the Spirit of the Lord is putting upon your heart right now. Confess it, renounce it, and condemn it. Unforgiveness keeps on coming back. Maybe you're here and you're finding it hard to forgive. And that is what is hindering you from buying the future that God has for you. Even that pain you get in your stomach. It's because of the accumulation of pain. 
Because you fail to forgive. Just lift up your hands to the Lord. I believe God wants us to address unforgiveness tonight. Spirit of the Lord, you are able. Spirit of the Lord, you are able. Lord, as we lift up our hands, it's the sign of surrender. You know in your heart, if you know in your heart, if you have an issue with unforgiveness, lift up your hands. Let's Only those with the issue of unforgiveness. Because that is what the Lord as the Lord. It is my prayer for you that today there is sufficient grace for you to break before the Lord. And in humility, the grace for forgiveness. Just come to the front and fall before the Lord. There is a lot at stake. A lot, a lot. And I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, if only they can forgive. There are many things which will be sorted tonight. But you are surrendering to the Holy Spirit. And all He requires from you is forgiveness. As we are praying, I heard Him say that is the issue you should handle right now. There are many who cannot break through because of unforgiveness. But you take a moment and you surrender to the Holy Spirit. As you sing this song, Let Your Living Water. Let your living water flow my soul. the Holy Spirit. Let your living water
as you lift your hands to him let the spirit of the Lord do a cleansing work in your heart right now let him loosen the weight of that burden that in his presence there will be ease to forgive Father I ask I have seen you do it even tonight do it for your people yes allow the spirit of the Lord allow the spirit of the Lord he's the one you've called tonight The enemy will not be able to hinder you anymore. For the spirit of the Lord is lifting that burden and in his presence he will cause you to forgive. I see someone as you forgive that woman who took away your husband I see a blood infirmity being healed right now as you forgive that woman who took away your husband I see a blood infirmity being healed right now yes 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 yeah, da, 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 da. It is true they bewitched you. It is true they bewitched you. But the Spirit of the Lord is lifting that burden. You're coming to the place of forgiveness tonight. That you may be able to buy your future. Don't judge every man according to what that man did to you seven years ago. There are times of refreshing in the presence of the Lord. Right now. Right now. Right now. The Spirit of the Lord is lifting that burden. Yes. Yes. He ashamed you. He ashamed you. He ashamed you. He ashamed you. But the river of the Spirit of God find comfort in the arms of the Holy Spirit. Right where you are, He comes as a comforter to you. And as you rest in His bosom, the grace to forgive that you may be restored you were three when you started that business but see how they pushed you out the Lord says let them go let them go there is something better for you there is something better for you George there is something better for you George forgetting the past and pressing on towards the future forgetting the past and pressing on towards the future I see his hands touching your wounds healing your wounds touching your wounds healing your wounds as little children when your father chased your mother and you left with your mother and you said I'll never forgive that man but right now 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 
kati. <laughs> yeah. It is true he brought the HIV. Chitofu akauka kasilimu ya kaleta. But forgive him and see what the Lord will do. Naimu sonyu wola we mukama chage ndo kola. Forgive him. Musonyu we. You will not stay anymore in depression. Togenda kudamu kubeda mga wenye sememe na te. Healing hands. Healing hands. The hands of Jesus. I see you. You were in HSC. When your father refused to pay your school fees. And that is how your future. The future that you believed in. That is how it came to an end. And you say thou not forgive that man. You say thou not forgive that man. But the Lord says. I have a better future in store for you. Let him go and be free. Healing Healing hands, the hands of Jesus, the healing hands, healing hands, was your best friend who took your husband but God says let her go forgive her the heart is being healed right now because you're choosing to let that person go you will not be operated <laughs> because today you've chosen to forgive I will restore your marriage healing Someone receive the love of Jesus. I see him cradling you like a little baby. And he's swinging you in his arms. And as he swings in his arms, he brings healing, emotional emotional pain in the heart sometimes you feel like as if your heart is going to burst but Jesus is standing where you are you were 
disappointed in ministry. You were disappointed in ministry. By the one you believed in. And you deserted your calling. But today as you forgive the seven of them As you forgive them The Lord restores you to the place of authority You will serve me You are an apostle of God Healing destinies are being aligned today. I see someone the gifts of healing are restored. You were worshipper. 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 You forgive that man. Forgive him. Forgive him. Forgive him. Forgive him. And this time as you stand to worship Many will be healed That you are the best friend of Jesus. He loved that statement. Until someone stripped you. He says, I've waited for you to say that word again. Right now, Kati. right now, Kakano. right now, Kakano. no one has said I'm their best friend. I loved it when you used to tell me that. I used to love it when you used to tell me that. He restores your heart right now. You know the secret place where you used to meet with him. Already. There is a river flowing from the throne of God and from the throne of the Lamb. That river flows upon your heart right now. To bring healing and restoration. Healing. Passy, passy. Who 
said Lord unless they mention my name I hear that name passing pass. And from that time he started bleeding. And you've never forgiven because you trusted them so much. But where you are right now, the bleeding comes to an end. As you find rest in his bosom. As you release them, those who hurt you, Father, we bless your holy name. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to give in the house of God. If you have your tithe. Please prepare it. Do we have anyone who came with their tithe? Uh, if you are online and on worship TV, please follow the instructions on the screen. The Lord bless you. If you brought your tithe, please come and stand here with it. I believe that the Spirit of the Lord is still doing His work in us. with the tithe. Lord, you're holy. Lord, you're great. May these tithes honor your holy name. And I decree and declare as I receive them, may the heavens be opened over them. May you rebuke the devourer in their lives. Calamity will not come a second time. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Please bring your tithe. The Lord bless you. When you bring your tithe, you can put your name, please. The Lord bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. The Lord bless you, the Lord bless you. The Lord bless you.
up your offering and start talking to the Lord. And the Lord Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. And Lord, today I stand in agreement with that which they are petitioning you for. And Lord, this offering let it be a sweet smelling aroma before your throne that which is good that which is acceptable that which is worthy in your sight and Lord, that let it be a credit on their account and let the season of remembrance be opened up to them as it happened in the life of Cornelius Lord I ask for a special visitation as you're opening the books of remembrance tonight in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen and Amen the Lord bless you the Lord bless you the Lord bless you Lord don't throw it in Give it to me. The Lord bless you. 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 Please put it in my hand. The Lord bless you. 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 The Lord bless you, 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 the Lord bless you. 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 Uh, on Sunday we shall have one service. Which will begin at 10.30 a.m. We shall resume our 7 o'clock services after the camp. The Lord bless you. We shall have some few testimonies. And then we shall close the service as I invite Minister Emma. Minister Emma. Come on, give Jesus the praise. Yes, so Muama Tendo. I also appreciate the Lord for His word. To see me at Tondo Rechigambuchi. And for His servant who was permitted the Lord to work through her. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, do we have an... Uh, an uh